Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I am in Walmart and I have two $50 Walmart cards gifted to me from my job. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be a $50 Walmart gift haul. So let's see what I can get with my $50. I only have a few rules. It cannot be any food item, cannot be anything for the household, cannot be anything for Charles, and it cannot be anything that Charles and I can share because these $50 are all about me. So let's see what I can get for $50. Okay, I am $16 down, just 34 more dollars to go. $50 and 10 cents. We had to put one item back, which was just some um, air freshener for my car. Okay, what do I do with this 10 cents? Okay, I had to yell out to about 10 people I know I should have caught it on video. I should have recorded it, but I had to yell out, anybody got 10 cents? And one of the Walmart ladies uh, who works here came and gave me 10 cents. I didn't want to put 10 cents on my debit card. <laughs> I'm back and it's show and tell time. So let's just get started and see what did I get for my $25, two $25 gift cards. So I might have misspoke earlier and said $50 each, but they were $25 each for a total of 50. Let's start with the beauty products. Okay, let's start with what do I have on my lips? I got some Ramel. I've never heard of Ramel. I asked my daughter, Dirk, what does this say? Does this say Revlon? <laughs> she looked at it, she said it says Ramel. Okay. And it's Ramel 124 Bordeaux. And I absolutely love it better to kiss you with my dear so I got some Bordeaux um, color lipstick from Ramel whomever that is I got some uh, Sally Hansen um, hard as nails nail polish in brownstone I love that color I wanted to get something different because I always get burgundies and reds and um, I thought I'd try to grow my nails a little bit and put some uh, brownstone on them. Now this was the debate. I got these which are the um, cotton rounds to for like fingernail polish remover, toenail polish remover. But this was a debate with my daughter and I. My daughter says that she uses um, cotton balls to remove her, she doesn't wear fingernail polish, but she wear toenail polish. So to remove her toenail polish, she uses cotton balls. Um, I normally use cotton balls, but I don't prefer cotton balls. I prefer the cotton rounds. So ladies, which do you prefer to remove your fingernail polish? cotton balls or like the cotton pads like these then I got some Jergens lotion just a little handheld because mind you the rule was not I can't buy anything that Charles and I would share and Charles and I share our lotion um, our household lotion but this is gonna go in my purse so it's not for sharing um, but sometimes you just need to have some of this in your purse you know you look down and your hands look like you've been playing in powder <laughs> so I got that and speaking of polish remover I got that um, I think I have a little bit but I'm try gonna try to polish my nails more often my battery is going low it would go low when I'm trying to record um, but that's some fingernail polish that I tried but I didn't get um, I didn't like it was prettier in the bottle than on that's some swatches of um, of lipstick that I tried so that's I'm all marked up also um, let's move on to um, a little gadget I was looking for something to put on the back of my cell phone to make my cell phone sit up when I wanna you know sit my cell phone down and look and look at it and I don't know I'll let you all know how this works, but it's supposed to work like that. Um, so it's just a little clip. It was like $1.94. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> and my daughter, she's like, um, Mama, let me go online. Mama, let me go online and um, see if there are any reviews. And she looked and she couldn't find any reviews online. And I said, Derricka, who reviews a $1.94 product? 
I wanted some socks uh, because you know I've been working out. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. Your girl been consistently working out since October. And I'm always going looking for Charles' um, socks. I always go in his sock drawer and get his socks. And I don't own any socks because I don't wear socks unless I'm working out. And I was not working out. But now your girl is working out consistently. So I went and got my own socks. And I needed some socks. And I saw all the socks that I saw were like size, um, they were like size, uh, six to 12 and I'm like uh, uh that's too much of a range uh, someone wearing a size six should not be wearing the same size socks that I wear and I wear 13s so I found me some that had size 13 15 I'm like uh that's what I'm talking about that's what I need <laughs> so then let's move on to these little tank tops here um I got those and they were $2.98 and they're just little simple spaghetti straps. Um, if I can hold it up here. Little simple spaghetti strap. But sometimes underneath my shirts that are uh, too low cleavage or showing a little bit too much. Because you know, I'm unpretentious plus. You know, over there in the unpretentious plus channel. Shameless plug. Um, where I... Um, where I showcase my fashions and fashions of other people who dress similarly than I do. Um, you know, sometimes we need a little something for sheer tops uh, or something we need something to you know, cover up a little cleavage. And so, yeah, so I got that one and a white one and a black one and a blue one. And they were only to 68 so I think I should be pretty well covered with tops I wish they were red red would have been uh, the only other color that I really would have loved to get and lastly I got me an outfit y'all yes I did so it's so funny um, I, Derek actually picked these out for me Derek picked these out and as you can see on the screen and I'm not sure if I'll be here or there, but um, as you can see on the screen, I have them on. And Derek will pick those out for me. And I thought that was such a good pick. You know, there, you know, got the pockets in them. And um, here's the shirt. And Derek told me, oh, mom, that would be a nice little, that's a nice little workout outfit. And I, oops. And I said, girl, workout outfit? I thought I'm going to rock this as an outfit of the day. <laughs> I'm in a workout outfit, but it's quite lengthy, and I like that it has a little split there on the side. I like that it has some sleeves. Um, I even like it's very sheer. I even like that it's sheer because, of course, I'm going to put one of my tanks underneath, and it'll take care of that. So it fits very nicely, and um, I really like it, and it was $5.00. Five dollars, and these pants were like nine ninety six. So for fifteen dollars, I got me a nice little casual outfit of the day and a workout outfit. <laughs> okay, that's it. It my total, which I y'all see, total came to fifty dollars and ten cents. And y'all, I'm in Walmart <laughs> about. 10, 15 people gathered around. And I'm like, anybody got 10 cents? <laughs> people of Walmart, y'all. People of Walmart. I have become one of those people of Walmart. <laughs> um, and then one of the ladies gave me 10 cents because I did not want to put 10 cents on my debit card. And I looked at my wallet and all I could find was Canadian money. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thank you all for joining me. Um, also, too, lastly, so... Um, Maybe tomorrow or sometime this weekend I got this came in from Amazon and it's a steamer um, an elite travel steamer and um, I'm going to be reviewing this no I did not get this in the Walmart haul I ordered this off of Amazon because I don't iron I hate ironing but I got quite a few wrinkled pieces that I don't wear anymore because they need ironing so I figured this might just revolutionize my life Okay, you guys, so I will review this in another video and I'll steam some 
really wrinkled pieces and we're gonna see how this baby works all right you guys thank y'all for watching love y'all y'all be blessed don't forget if you like fashion if you like my fashion don't forget to go over check the description box for the link and don't forget to go over to unpretentious plus and subscribe over there if you like fashion y'all be blessed